Hi, welcome to all of you. Today our video is about linear frequency and angular frequency. How linear frequency and angular frequency they are related. Yeah, we can simply say what is the relationship between linear frequency and angular frequency are simply that is means to say the relationship between omega and f or omega is equal to 2 pi f we will prove that how omega is equal to 2 pi f so let's start this is the goal of our today video to prove omega is equal to 2 pi f this can be proved by two ways one way is to prove it from angular angular uh, angular motion equation and second way is to prove it from linear equation motion first give a little bit detail about this that this omega is actually angular frequency and this is linear frequency because frequency can be defined as number of vibration divided by time or vibration per unit time is called frequency so if that vibration come in a periodic motion that is in a linear motion so that is called linear frequency if that vibration come in circular motion or angular motion so we would call it, call it as a angular frequency omega uh, is equal to theta divided by t omega is equal to theta divided by t angular frequency or angular velocity this is this uh, this theta is angular displacement or we can say that this is a revolution because a body when complete a revolution in a circle so if it start from point a and again come to point a so this is one revolution and this one revolution come in angular motion so this one revolution here and one revolution we say that theta is equal to 2 pi and this occur in some specific time so that specific time is called time period so t is equal to capital t if we plug in this value in this equation so this equation would take the form omega is equal to 2 pi divided by capital T and 1 over T is equal to frequency so this will become omega is equal to 2 pi f so this is proved this we take from the equation of angular motion now we take equation of linear motion we know that velocity is equal to velocity or speed if this is taken as speed so distance divided by time if this is taken as velocity so displacement divided by time so v is equal to s divided by t again we say that if a body complete one vibration so s for that body circumference is equal to 2 pi r and this is covered in special time t so t is equal to capital T so v is equal to put this value in this equation it will become 2 pi r divided by capital T and by relation we know from relation between linear and angular velocity we have an equation that v is equal to r omega so if we put this video in equation this equation will become r omega 
is equal to 2 pi r divided by d. This r will be cancelled with this r and 1 over d would become equal to 2 pi f. So, through it again. There is an important point for those students who are appearing in entry tests, those and especially physics MCQs, there is often asked about dimensions. So it may come an exam in your entry test that what is the dimension of linear frequency and angular frequency. Our question may come like this, that the dimension of linear and angular frequency is same or different. So we discuss here that omega is basically its unit is a radian per second that is we can also call it angular frequency and linear frequency is equal to 1 over t so 1 over t become 1 over second a radian is dimensionless so there is no dimension for radian and the dimension per second will be 1 over t and here also 1 over t so is obvious from this calculation that both the dimension for linear frequency and angular frequency is same and this equation is also proved by principle of homogeneity principle of homogeneity says that the dimension uh, of left hand side of an equation is equal to right hand side of equation in physics an equation is valid unless and until its left hand side dimension is equal to right hand side dimension so here left hand side dimension is equal to right hand side dimension so the dimension i am writing here over this the dimension of linear and angular frequency are same this is very important for student appearing in entry test angular and linear frequency is same and that is 1 over t ie is from Latin or Greek uh, language and it means that it is and English we say that is so in today's video we prove how omega is equal to 2 pi f and we prove it by two methods one from linear equation and one from angular equation and finally we prove that the dimension of linear frequency and angular frequency are same and we also prove that this equation omega is equal to 2 pi f follow principle of homogeneity if you like your video so do subscribe our channel so that we could receive our next video thank you for watching